Hi, I'm Public Information Officer Art Forgey of the Alachua County Sheriff's Office. On behalf of Sheriff Clovis Watson Jr., I'd like to provide you with information regarding a traffic stop which resulted in a federal conviction and sentencing of a violent convicted felon. On Friday, March 24th, the United States Attorney for the Northern District of Florida, Jason Cooty, announced that Taziti Lamad Demarcus Allen, 32, of Palm Beach County, Florida, was sentenced to 12 years in federal prison, followed by five years supervised release for possession of a firearm and ammunition by a convicted felon. The case against Allen and subsequent conviction stemmed from a traffic stop conducted by Sheriff's Office Domestic Highway Enforcement Sergeant Jones on the afternoon of Monday, January 31st, 2022. During the traffic stop, Jones learned that Allen was a habitual traffic offender in the state of Florida, which means that his operation of the motor vehicle is a felony crime. Sergeant Jones further found that the vehicle Allen was operating had a strong odor of marijuana emanating from within the passenger compartment while learning that Allen is not a medical marijuana card holder. Sergeant Jones conducted a probable cause search of the vehicle where he located a loaded, stolen, canic 9mm pistol as well as 8 grams of a powdery substance verified to be a combination of fentanyl and synthetic cathinone within a natural void that was at the rear of the center console. Allen was detained for further investigation which eventually revealed that the loaded firearm was reported stolen and that Allen is a multi-time convicted felon with a violent criminal past. Allen was arrested and charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon driving while license suspended or revoked, habitual offender, and possession or use of drug equipment. As a result of the arrest, the case was turned over to the United States Attorney's Office, which led to the successful prosecution and conviction of Allen. Sheriff Watson wants to remind you that the men and women of Alachua County Sheriff's Office, in concert with our local, state, and federal partners, will continue to pursue violent criminals who unlawfully possess firearms to ensure that the citizens and visitors of this great county remain safe.